Let's go to the Shanti region immediately and speak with William Evans Incom. He's a man on the beat there. He joins us via Skype. Evans, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Johnny. I'm doing very well, and you? I see, I see you're lacing your boots to step into town right in front of the TV3 Plaza. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, this is what we do. Um, we, we will be in town to get the mood there and also try to understand whether people are adhering to the social distance and protocol, which has become problematic um, ever since um, the lockdown, the partial lockdown was lifted. It is a disaster mm. in many parts of the Ashanti region, Johnny. When you say disaster, what do you mean? The, the, the city authorities are there. Aren't they working? Well, currently, I can tell you that they are overwhelmed by the current situation. Because yesterday, places like um, Aranaga Junction and mm. other um, in transport terminals, I mean, the, the scene was very scary. Uh, people have massed up, uh, I mean, waiting to board vehicles. And, you know, now the, the commercial vehicles now have limited um, number of passengers okay. uh, as far as I mean, um, their operation is concerned. Okay. And, and that has contributed to the significant number of um, people that we see um, in the marketplaces. And one thing is that everybody wants to come to the central business district mm. for reasons best known to them. Sometimes we ask ourselves, what happens to the satellite market? I think going for there's something that the um, local authority or the administrative district will have to work on and see how best that particular situation can be addressed. Even if we don't have coronavirus, I think the satellite market should be attractive enough to uh, ensure some level of, or ensure the effectiveness of the decentralization mm. at the local level. Uh, it, it, it was just scary um, to say the least. That, that, that would have brought a lot of traffic, I can imagine, to the CBD, correct? Abs absolutely. So for instance, um, I do um, the the area that I call the hub of cereal foods. Uh, you will not you will not normally see traffic in the hours around seven and eight. Mm. But yesterday I saw a different picture. I was there and I was trapped in this choker block traffic for more than thirty minutes. Mm. Movement around that particular time was just something else. Uh, so there were a number of traffic build-up in most principal streets as far as the Ashanti region is concerned. And for that matter, Kumase, I've told you that if you come to Kumase, um, out of the 4 point or over 4 million population as piled or compiled by the, um, uh, the, the Ghana Statistical Service right. during 2010. Census. Um, census. Mm. Yes, we have about 60% of that population living in the Kumase metropolis. Mm. And you will understand, if you're talking about the working class, you're talking about an excess of 2 million people working. Okay. Uh, as far as the, 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 the Kumase, I mean, and its environment is concerned. So definitely you understand the situation. Well, we'll come back to those figures and interrogate them some further. But this should be the traffic and people wanting to come to town should be good news to the assemblies because then the market tolls and other tolls that will be have been collected. What are they then telling you? Are they raking in cash? There is an underlying danger, and that is coronavirus. Now, it is not about raking in cash, but it's about ensuring that the people are also healthy because they say a healthy nation is a wealthy one. Right. And if the people are coming to town with the virus, I think you only have peace of mind. Yesterday, I engaged... Um, some members of the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly monitoring team who have been doing a fantastic job. And you could see that level of, I mean, uh, one would say uh, confusion in, in, mm. the, in, their, in, their, in their faces. I mean, they are not happy uh, because they had a plan. You know, um, for instance, if you go to the Kumasi Central Market, they had a plan, mm -hmm. and that plan was um, working. Right. I'm talking about the, the rotational plan. Right. If the same plan was implemented at the uh, a doom at a doom where I also have a good number of people um, selling essential food stuff. Mm. I mean, we've, talk, we've talked about the um, cereal foods, which is one of the staple foods um, for the people in the Ashanti region. We're talking okay. about rice and all of that. Mm. Um, so they also had a plan for them, and they, they, that particular plan only contained 20 shops. 
Now they will have to expand it. Okay. Because everybody is coming to the market to trade. Mm. So they will have to expand that particular plan. And I know in the course of the week they are going to do that. But hey, it is just not a small pill to swallow, Johnny. The, the conversation then about how many people would be working if we have to, uh, we're getting free electricity, free water, we're getting to feed the poor and vulnerable. I understand that it's, it's seizing now at this point. But if we have to work back to put the economy back on track, it means that the 2 million people you're talking about would have to carry that burden, correct? They would have to. They would have to carry that burden. And you see... Don't forget that because of the waiver, now we are, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see more businesses springing up because now um, there are some commodities that have become very, I mean, viable. Mm. I mean, the demand for such commodities are increasing um, as the days, I mean, pass by. You're talking about the nose mask mm -hmm. and you could see a lot of businesses springing up. I mean, as far as the production of nose masks. Are, are the people in Ashanti region wearing it? The president says, wear your nose masks while you're out there. Are they wearing it? Well, yesterday, I, the, the numbers as at, I mean, 8 or between the hours of 8 and then 12, whereas I was in market at the uh, Doom uh, business, um, the, the central business district, I think the, the number of people that I saw with the nose mask wasn't mm. impressive. But I think later in the evening, um, where I found myself, especially at the Kumasi Central Market, mm. I think uh, I, it was uh, impressive uh, because a significant number of people had the nose mask on. The, the chop bars are a mainstay in the Ashanti region. Fufu and all the others, the soups and the bush meat and everything else. Are they back in business? Some are back. Some are back, um, especially those operating around the central business district. They are back. You know, I mean, people cannot walk around, uh, walk around without their fufu as far as the Ashanti region is concerned. So it's a tradition. So, I mean, um, and you have to observe that particular tradition. So some are working. Mm. Uh, not everybody, but um, some, some are back to business, Johnny. The itinerant preachers, are they also back on the streets? I didn't see any yesterday, uh, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see some coming up uh, or coming back to the streets um, this morning and um, especially Friday when you normally describe as the peak. It's Wednesday and Fridays. Mm. These are the peak, I mean, period for these roadside preachers. So I wouldn't be surprised to see most of them tomorrow doing their, what, what they do best and also Friday doing what they do best, Johnny. Mm. In Accra, they, there's some bit of peace and calm over the city, uh, even as the Guard Traditional Council prepares to uh, initiate the ban on drumming and noise making. It, it, it does appear that people perhaps are comparing the, uh, the lockdown and they, they're yet to defrost from that ice. Everybody seems to have been quiet. Is that what's happening in the Ashanti region where music is not playing out loud? We are now suddenly all obeying the environmental laws. When you find yourself in a certain dilemma, as far as life lessons are concerned, then sometimes you have no other option than to maybe meditate all the time, even if you are not a fan of meditation. I think that is the kind of thing that I'm saying as far as the atmosphere, the current atmosphere here in the Ashanti region is mm. concerned. A lot of people are pondering because you don't know who, who you are meeting next. And you, you also don't know the status of that particular person. Mm. So the fact that people, I mean, we've been told that people carry the virus mm. and you cannot tell in the face of a carrier, I think it is making people a bit circumspect and a bit cautious um, whenever they are in town. Yes, of course, I mean, the usual buzzing, the, the, mm. the beaming engines, I mm. mean, the... The, the, the noise from the, I mean, the, 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 the honking of horns and mm. all of that, as we normally see or hear in the central business district, is working. But when you, when you get closer to people who are conversing, 90% of the conversation is around the coronavirus. Mm. The, the phenomenon of jogging, of people going for keep fit exercises, is very popular in Accra these days. You see a lot of younger people and older people in their uh, training suits and out there. Does it happen in the Ashanti region as well? People are taking to the streets to jog? 
Johnny, you remember I told you the last time that post coronavirus we, we will adapt to certain culture that hitherto wasn't with us. And mm. I think um, maybe one of the advantages or good things about the COVID 19 is the fact that people are beginning to be very conscious about their health. Mm. And in my area, people that I hardly see on, on the street jogging, now they're all doing that because. They've been told that once your immune system is strong, then it can resist mm. the virus if you happen to contract. Uh, I, I, there has been some significant increase of paper consciousness to their health mm. matters. And yes, on the street, you see a lot of people. And every day you see new people on the street. Mm. Um, so I think it, 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 it speaks one language that... In, adve in, the, in the midst of adversity, there's an opportunity, and people are taking advantage of that, Johnny. We've spoken at length about the living. Let's uh, focus a bit, a minute or two, about those who have departed onto the silent harbor. Now, the president had indicated for individuals to, and families to go ahead with private barriers so we can decongest the morgues. We do know that the Ashanti region sometimes is quite heavy on culture and tradition, and one of them is how we bury those who are departed, our, our loved ones, those who are near and dear. Are people burying their folks uh, privately as the president directed? It has started. Arrangement has started. For instance, yesterday I saw people in their morning club um, indicating that they are preparing to um, hold their... Um, the, the, they, are, they, are, they are preparing to hold their funeral activities. Mm. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see more of such events in the coming weekend. Mm. Uh, I think people, uh, of course, I mean, the Ashanti region, people want to have that glamour and, and, and all of that surrounding mm. their funeral and all that. It's a tradition. Um, if, you are, if, you are, if you are bidding farewell to your relative mm. or the, 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 the departed so. It has to be done. It has to be done well. I mean, that is the belief of most people in the Ashanti region. Um, so the fact that they wouldn't have the numbers, and it's about numbers. I mean, sometimes they do not necessarily look at what they are getting from the okay. funeral. That's the proceed. But the numbers, uh, people who will be turning up to mourn with you. Mm. Um, so um, now that the numbers have been, I mean, um, decreased to at most 25 not everybody is happy, right. but again, they also believe that, look, it's about life and death. Um, you either stick to this protocol mm. or you spread the virus and you, you wouldn't know if you are going to be the next person. So, yes, the private burial, people are, I'm, I'm, are we expecting more of such events in the coming weekend. But gathering, I don't know whether people will continue to postpone mm. their I mean, funeral <laughs> rides so that... They will have ample time for, uh, for uh, uh, I mean, that kind of, one will say, the big thing that they really want to uh, see or they really want yeah. to have whenever they are bidding farewell to uh, a relative. Evans, I mean, almost stay thankful to you. Unless there's something you want to quickly add, we'll say bye-bye to you. Well, so um, I think now there's a bigger challenge and... Uh, Johnny, you wouldn't want to be in the shoes of the, uh, the KMA chief executive and then the Swami municipal chief executive because these are the largest business enclaves it, as far as the Kumase, uh, the greater Kumase is concerned. Because you are talking about the Swami uh, municipal assembly, that is where we have the Swami industrial cluster. Social distancing is very problematic as far as that particular enclave is concerned. So. Mm a lot of stringent measures will have to be instituted to check that. Then if you come to the Kumase uh, <laughs> Metropolitan Assembly, remember yesterday, mm. traders at the Dr. Mensah will have to be dispersed okay. forcefully because they were not observing the social distancing. Mm. Uh, a, a lot of work will have to be done there. If you ask me, I think the military, now the military are no more in town. Right. The police, yes, uh, uh, only few are walking around. You want them back in town? They should, they should, they should, because now, I mean, they should, just to curtail movement, especially, okay. they should have the barriers, okay, to curtail movement, because you see a chunk of people coming to town, then you ask yourself, what is their business, Johnny?
Evans, I thank you very much indeed. And I could tell the frustration in his voice, especially given the fact that he thinks that the city authorities may be having a tall task dealing with that.